Well, uh, rain's not supposed to affect a septic system. I've been doing this 30 years. I don't know everything. And the more that I learn and the more that I know, the more I realize I don't know everything. And it's been always been a stickler rain with drain fields. But I'm gonna tell you, the way an absorption area is set up, especially in the state of Pennsylvania, and probably throughout the United States, I can only speak to Pennsylvania codes and things of that nature. We always need a minimum of 12 inches of soil cover on top of the stone aggregate of an absorption area. And the reason being is to prevent when it rains, that the water can immediately enter your absorption area. The honesty is, is that just the top quarter inch of soil becomes saturated and won't absorb too much more water. The rainwater runs off or puddles and creates evaporation to disappear. I'm not saying that a heavy rain won't affect the septic system, but if a heavy rain our rain in general affects the septic system. That septic system is unsatisfactory. It's not supposed to affect the septic system. Generally, when I find rain is affecting a septic system, it's because of direct water infiltration, like around an extension riser that wasn't sealed with butyl mastic sealant or concrete, where they just put the concrete top onto the top of the concrete tank, no seal, and then that lid or uh, that riser sticking up out of the ground and then the rain runs down the hill, hits that riser, runs down the concrete and jump right into the tank. I see that all the time. That's something that could affect the absorption area of the drain field. But a lot of people just think, well, it rained last night. Yeah, you you're doing the septic inspection. Uh, it's gonna fail because it rained last night. And that's not true. I mean, you've got 12 inches of aggregate it didn't rain 12 inches the night before. And that 12 inches of rain, if it did, didn't penetrate through the ground inside your absorption area and then stop there. Your absorption area is the only portion or area on the property that's actually been soil studied, perk tested and designed to accept water and drain it. If the rest of the property is dry, why would not the only spot that was been tested to absorb water not be dry? If rain just went through and absorbed through the soil, we would never have creeks, ponds, puddles. It would, everything would just absorb down on the ground. And there are areas that are like that. They're called swamps. That's where the water just penetrates through the soil. You could step into a mud and just you'd be up to your waist in it. You don't build houses there. You don't live there. You don't put septic systems there. Those are situations that do exist, but that's, you're not putting a septic system there. I don't think humans actually could live on the face of the planet if the ground constantly absorbed all that rainwater. I mean, you think about uh, like with the snow and stuff that runs off the mountains, it runs off the mountains and it fills, uh, fills arbitraries, creeks, rivers to give people water. If the rain came off that mountain, that stone mountain, and hit soil and just instantly went into the ground. We wouldn't have water to drink. We wouldn't have lakes. It would just drain right through. So that's my opinion. I'm sure I could have people argue what it is I'm saying, but in a nutshell, if your septic system is affected by rainwater, your septic system is unsatisfactory and requires replacement.